Hi friends, it's Miss Jen, and I'm here to tell you about a project we're going to be working on over the next few days. These are my resurrection eggs, and for those of you that were at Spark the last time we met, I showed them to you, and we talked a little bit about one of the eggs. Um, we actually talked about the egg with a coin, but every single day, there is a different egg that you can go through, and each egg represents something that happened along the journey to when Jesus died on the cross and was resurrected. So over the next few days, we're going to be sharing with you some stories and giving you opportunity to create your own book that goes along with it. So this is, let's see if I can move this. These are my resurrection eggs, and I'm going to share them with you. Um, but Miss Katie is going to put a downloadable version of my book on our kids ministry page so that you can follow along with us and you can make your own. So this you can see it says my resurrection eggs book and every day there's going to be a page you can fill out and my children Ashlyn and Cooper are going to help share parts from the story as well as myself and we are going to let you follow along. So the first day, Ashlyn is going to share with you a little bit about the blue egg and what's in the blue egg. And then you are going to get the item and you're going to paste it to your book. So I am super excited that we can do this project together. And you may even choose to do something a little different. And if you have plastic eggs at home and you want to find little pieces that go into your plastic eggs that represent each part of our story, you can do that as well. So I am super excited to get started and you can go ahead and listen to day one. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, my name is Ashlyn and today I'm going to be reading you a story about our blue egg from the resurrection eggs. Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put them on their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Matthew 21, verse 2 through 3 and 6 through 8. Here's the egg, and inside there is a donkey to represent the donkey in our story. In Jesus' day, most people walked everywhere. Sometimes kings rode on donkeys or horses when they entered a city. The people would stop what they were doing and watch as the king rode by. On the day that Jesus rode into their city, the people were thrilled to see him. They believed that he was their new king who had come to save them and fill their lives with joy. The people showed their happiness by spreading tree branches and coats on the road. This was also their way of showing honor to Jesus, much like we might use a red carpet today. Here is the picture from my story. Thank you, and I hope that you guys can tune in tomorrow to see about our pink egg. Bye.